for checking in. Thank you for stopping by, checking out this video, watching. Hi! <laughs> I wasn't planning to be able to make this video today, but the last art supplies that I was waiting on, I got today. So I thought, I'll finally get to make this video. I've been holding on to stuff for so long. I got this from Dollar Tree. Um, it came in a pack of two. I use it to put my paint into while I'm painting. Um, let me show you, hold on. If you, if you can see. And then I, I cover it with, it's got like saran wrap on it, and then I put it in a Ziploc to keep the paint, if there's extra, to keep it moist and wet and doesn't dry on me. Um, it still kind of ends up mixing some, as you can tell, but let's see if I turn it around. Here, I don't know why I didn't do that. Yeah, it mixes some, but not enough where, like, I can't get my colors back. Um, so I bought two of them, which gave me four of them, because the kids, every so often, you know, they want to paint something or do something. So I got them one, and... I use one and I think I'm missing one. I have these which um, we were going to do something with the kids uh, where they decorated their own shirts um, which we didn't get around to but I bought these because at the time I was like I think I just took my recycle to the recycle center and I was like I don't think I have any more cardboard. Um, so I got these, and then of course we didn't have do, end up doing it, um, but I was like, you know, uh, I'll just keep them. They were only $1.29, you know, no point in returning it for that reason. Uh, we'll use them, you know, but you could easily just use cardboard. Um, at least that's what I think. Yeah, like I said, we were going to decorate shirts, um, so... I got some fabric markers, just picked up stuff I thought the kids would like using. Um, this was $5.99. I can't remember if any of this was on sale. I normally pick up stuff on sale, but I, I don't remember. Um, I also got this set of fabric paint, 21 ounce, um, 20 one ounce bottles of what it says is 3D fabric paint. I don't know about that, but um, on a regular basis, I don't really do a lot of fabric painting or anything like that. Um, so, I still have the shirts and the kids and I will probably do it one day. But um, other than that, I'm not sure how much I'll use it. Maybe I'll find something else to do it. To use it for with etc. Um okay. And along with that, I also got various colored shirts. Um one for myself to do that fabric painting on with where yeah. So, um, I wanted to be honest and show you that I bought that stuff too. Um, so, on to the better stuff. Okay, sticking with Hobby Lobby. Also, I also purchased a few things to have a little fun with. I saw this foil painting by numbers. I'm like, interesting. Um, yes, I do my own painting, but I thought, you know, at the time, I thought, gee, that might be fun for those times where I'm just not feeling like working on some of my own stuff, which, uh, I don't know, I kind of felt like mindlessly artwork stuff, you know, to get my mind off of, you know, if I'm getting frustrated with a painting. I'm not getting my colors right or 
I'm frustrated with a drawing or something like that and I just need to take a step away but I'm still feeling in an artistic mood I thought this would be perfect okay and then I also got this paint your own masterpiece for that very same reason um, I thought they'd be fun to do but here's the funny part um, and now that I say this I might even take these back I don't know but because since then I realized that they've come out with um, like adult coloring pages and um, I put some if you follow me on Pinterest you see I have a new board where I put some that I found the board is called colorido um, I put a bunch in there and I thought you know um, I could do that you know if I'm just kind of in the mood to color something um, yeah like yeah, so, you know, like I'm just in the mood to color something. I could do one of those pages and um, practice and use those pages to sort of practice my technique. Um, only thing, those would more than likely be like color pencil or soft pastels or marker, you know, medium. Probably not paint. I think you know which would be a plus for these I don't know yet I don't know I don't know I've already bought them they look like they might be a little bit of fun or they might be just as aggravating I don't know so I don't know I might keep them because now I'm thinking about it for fun I might keep them but then again, I can take them back. We'll see. I also got some tape, which some um, where is it? Duck General Usage. Wait, oh, that was in English. Wait a minute. <laughs> Duck General Purpose tape masking tape i believe i got this from home depot um it was either home depot or walmart uh funny part was i already had some so looking at drawing boards and seeing them for like 17 dollars and up depending upon the size i decided you know i would just sort of make my own drawing board and I bought a sheet, I bought two sheets of tempered cardboard from Home Depot. They were one eighth width, um, two, two feet by two foot, two foot by four foot, two feet by four feet. <laughs> you know, you say the, you know it should be feet because it's more than one. But when you say it that way, it doesn't sound right. But, um, they were two by four. Um and I bought two sheets I, I had them cut it at 30 inches um, and that gave me one 18 by 24 and one 24 by 30 which is a really good size of board you know um, but because they were one eighth size when I was I purchased them online and then picked them up in the store. I was going to glue the two pieces that I have together, which is why I bought two sheets, um, to give me a quarter inch and make it sturdier. But really, the eighth is really sturdy enough for me. Um, I was just surprised by it. It's just, it's really, it's, it's good enough for me. Uh, I really like to end the boards to cost me together. Uh, the two of them cost, I think they were like $11. It didn't cost me anything to have them cut it. 
And so I have four drawing boards for eleven dollars. So even better stuff. So Michael's the other day, um, I can't remember if it was the Labor Day weekend or which weekend. They had a sale going online. Um, they were offering like free shipping and um, certain things were on, on sale. So I did a lot online shopping. Um, I purchased this Canson Canson um, artboard and I picked up some Canva paper, canvas paper by Cart Canson as well. This one is um, it's 12 by 16 and it is 136 pound weight. And then I also picked up a smaller acrylic paper by Strathmore. Strathmore. This one is 9 by 12 and it is 246 pound paper. And here's the foot. It's the 400 series. I didn't say that. There are only 10 sheets there. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Yeah, I mean, they're really a nice, thick sheet. So, I did some other Michaels in store shopping. And I bought these, this pack. I had a coupon. Um, so, I bought this Artist Loft Super Value Canvas Pack. It comes with seven 12 by 12 canvases. Um, and in all honesty, I just don't know why I bought it. I'm like, what am I going to paint on here? <laughs> but I didn't take it back because I know that I've been wanting to do sort of smaller pieces. Um, I, I tend to gravitate to the larger paintings, which give me more room to be excessive <laughs> I don't know but I know I wanted to do get into more smaller pieces uh, while I was in Michaels um so they had this artist loft art portfolio bag on clearance and it was like I can't even you can't quote me but like I think it might have been like um two dollars on clearance and then it was 50 percent off so i got it i either got it for like 75 cents or just over a dollar so i was like oh now what do i need a portfolio for what what do i need this for well i just thought maybe some of the stuff i have here just to properly store it so it's not out in my house you know where the kids can directly get to it and see it and mark on it um so maybe just to keep some of my stuff in here. I'm not carrying it anywhere. Just to store. Right? That's smart. Run. 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 I don't know. Maybe one day I'll have to carry them somewhere. And I'll be happy that I bought that. Anyway, so from Michaels I also got when I either had a 50% no I had to have had a 50% off coupon. For these but I bought two brushes don't ask me this name Royal and Lang nickel Royal Royal and Lang nickel brushes acrylic brushes um I did I did love the way they felt um this one's a size 8 filbert right yes and this one's a size 6 fan brush. There are just a few more brushes that I need. Um, I want, I think like the size 10 filbert. Um, and then I need a few bright brushes and then maybe one more fan and I'll be good to go. I already have like a slew of brushes, but, um, filbert is what I learned on and used to really keep going with and I don't have any of those other than this one I just bought so um they feel so oh now why yeah they feel good okay um I also bought this 
just the other day because Michael sent me a 50% off regular item coupon. And so I have like a wish list of art supply stuff that I want to purchase eventually. So I just picked something off my wish list um, and got that one thing. So I bought this Prismacolor Premier color pencil accessory set. It comes with a colorless blend. Oh wait, no. Right there is the colorless blender pencil, a colorless blender marker, a pencil lengthener, which is the thing I really, really, really wanted. Um, and a graphite pencil, a pencil sharpener, a knead eraser, and a plastic eraser. Um, I first saw this set online on their website looking for, just looking for the, the pencil lengthener. I want like a couple, I need like a couple of those and I can't find just the pencil lengthener. Okay, it's probably something I'm gonna have to buy from Dick Blick directly or I need to check like Amazon or something if I can just find just the pencil thing. But I wanted the blender too, so hey, in one. Uh, the need eraser. Not as much as the need, but it's nice to have. Okay, so I got this 50% off um, the joy that I have. Okay, just sharing. So, um, my husband has a friend who has a son who works at a place where he gets a hookup. <laughs> and he shared the love. So, um, my marker supply is oh, really, really low. And I don't, because I wasn't really doing markers. And the markers is just sort of something I want to get into and, and try out. And it's kind of hard to try out when you don't have a full set of colors. Um, um, and especially when I say markers, I mean alcohol-based markers. Well, he hooked me up with one, a bag of Sharpies. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. Okay. So, and in here, okay, now there's a lot of, let me say that. There's a lot of repeat colors in there, but I've got a good, good variety of colors as well too. But I've got some ultra fine point markers. I've got some, oh, that's the same one. Okay, here we go. Some fine point Sharpie markers. I also have some of these um, double uh, t twin tip markers. And I think there was another kind in here. Um, Oh, some of them are the Sharpie, um, Sharpie Extreme. Can you see that? Oh, I have it backwards. <laughs> Sharpie Extreme. There was another kind in here. Oh, some of the, um, what do you call that? Retractable fine point clicky clicky one. And... There's a neon one. Yeah, I like, I haven't, I haven't been through the whole bag. But, there's a wide variety of Sharpies in here. And I'm so thankful that hair is bothering me. Um, I mean, I'm like, I am so good to go on Sharpie markers. Um, can't even... And I can't even begin to fathom. Okay, but there's something else. Yep, there's, there's something else. I also got Prismacolor markers. Yep. Now, he said 
that they didn't have as many there, so he wasn't even like enough to fill up a bag. Um, but he's gonna look for more. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, compared to having, I had like what? I think I had like five Prismacolor markers before. Um, yeah, I'm like overjoyed. So I've got like various colors. Um, the majority of them are the ones with the um, fine nib and then the um, broad chisel nib. I've got a couple with the fine nib, but they have the brush tip nib. And then, whew, that one was strong. Um, I thought there was, there is another blender in there. There was a blender. I've got two blenders. Um, I also got some of these um, Prismacolor Premier markers. Two of them have this chiseled um, nib. And one had um, a fine tip. No, a brush nib. One had a brush nib. But yeah. So. <sighs> You're so happy when you get blessed. It's just, it's just so lovely. But, um, you know, because, you know, the Prismacolor markers, I think Michael's has a sale going on right now for the Prismacolor markers that if you buy three or more they go on sale f or no no they go on sale you have to buy three or more and when you buy three or more they cost um i think it's in like three dollars and change for one one marker um yeah i know for as many as i would want you, you just can't do that you know you buy five of them and you're up to fifteen dollars already i can't do that so, um, I'm so th I'm just so thankful and happy. What so, I, what I had already thought to do was, I, I want to try the big markets, um, and then I just have my Prismacolor as in addition to, um, you know, I'm just hobbying, you know, and I just can't see spending for Prismacolor or Copic, you know, or Winsor & Newton for hobbying, you know. And especially when I've been watching some people take the big market. And I've watched a few with the Sharpies um, and really do some beautiful work with them. I think it's, I saw one lady on Instagram, she used Sharpies to do her picture and I thought it was absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah. So, and just count these as extra and a blessing, you know, get better. So, oh, I'm just so happy I get to finally make this video. Um, like I said, there are just a few things more that I would like to get my hands on. I want, <clears throat> I want some more of these pencil ex lengtheners, extenders, um, because a lot of my pencils are nubby nub nub nub, um. I was going to get some more drawing pencils, but I was like, you know, really, I think um, a number two school pencil is going to work really just fine for me. Um, okay, and I also wanted, like I said, told you the big market markers. I'd like to try those. Also, um, I could use a few more paint colors, but I don't want to buy them until I'm actually working on something where I need a particular color. I don't, I'm not going to be buying any more sets. Um, I think I'm just going to buy colors as needed. Uh, like I think they have tone tan and tone gray paper. I'd like to work with that. I like some jelly roll pens um, to use with. Yeah. And um, like the soft pastels. I have soft pastels already but, already, but they're the sticks. And I'd like to try the pencils to avoid the mess. I don't like that. I don't like my fingers. Um, like I said, yeah. The rest of the brushes. And... I need a new graphics tablet. Now that... Which I'm going to go ahead and get. Um, 
Yeah, I had to throw mine away. Um, over time, just buy over time as I see them either on sale or what have you. If I can use a 50% off coupon, and even if I, have, if I have to buy one at a time, I think that's what I'm gonna do to get that stuff. Um, Cause like I said, it's more at this time hobby than anything, you know. Probably if I ever got where maybe I was selling some things that I was doing, um, then I put, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'm so big with the hands. Forgive me, I'm just a little silly. Yeah, thank you so much for watching my art haul video. No, what's this song from through the video? Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.